Oh, good morning everyone, Monday morning, and it is Tape Week. I love Tape Week. Oh, out this morning, just an easy 30 minutes, not the usual 45. I love dropping and loading that extra time that I get, and just the easy runs get easier. I'll still have the intensity in there, and just freshening up. Couldn't have come at a better time too. Oh, seven days to go. And we're done. 5.9 k's. 5.17 per k. A little bit past. Just got to slow it down. Might have to wear the heart rate strap for all of these runs. Uh, the easy runs this week just to keep myself in check. You know, when it's that little bit less, you get that little bit excited. Here's how I'm structuring the tape week this week. Easy runs every day, but lowering them down to 30 minutes when they have been 45. Tempo run on Tuesday. That's going to be a 15 minute tempo, so just getting the legs ticking over at that pace. Thursday, still going to do a track session, but it's only going to be very, very short. I'll extend the warm up and cool down, but yeah, very, very short track session. Maybe four, maybe five, four hundreds. Nothing more. 20 minute runs on Friday and Saturday. Bring that volume right down. Freshen up those legs, especially the glute. We're good to go. I love tape week. See you guys soon. Hey, what's up guys? Uh, just finishing at my Tuesday tempo. 7.2 k's, I think uh, 4.52 in the end. I don't know what the 15 minute interval was, so I wasn't, haven't checked it yet. I'll put it on screen. It was hard to maintain pace today. I got this, tape is good, I'll feel good come Sunday. 7 k's in the bank, that's the hardest run of the week I'll do. And then it's uh, downhill from here. And obviously until Sunday. Probably should run that pretty hard. All right, see you guys. And I'm back. Wednesday morning, 5.54 k's at 5.25s. Legs felt quite loose this morning. I went for a massage last night and that worked a treat. Legs feel really loose. And it was very surprised to see those 5.25s at the end of it because it definitely felt slower than that. So that's a good sign. Ah, legs starting to come good. Uh, track session tomorrow. Time to get on with the day. Uh, see you soon. Thursday afternoon, interval speed session time. So here's what I'm planning on doing. Cutting it back because we are tapering. We're four days out from the race. So quick warm up. You know, I'm gonna do eight 200s with a 200 jog in between. So it's only two Ks worth of work. And I've been about four or five Ks or six Ks maybe in total. Nice and easy. But boy, is it hot. It's, uh, it's 33 degrees according to the temp gauge. About a thousand percent humidity. It's lovely. So the aim of tonight's session is very simple. It's just to get the legs ticking over at 10k pace. So looking around these 200s, in about 47 seconds. Just try and tick over at that 3.55 pace. Drink a litre of fluid on the way here. Pretty sure I've already sweated it out in the three lap warm up. Oh, it's friggin' hot. My legs feel like crap. This is a great taper session. First rep coming up. Let's do it. Okay. Reps one and two done. Cut out way too fast on those. Got to take it easy. Oops. So yeah, we're going the next few. Oh, okay, four reps down. I think the pacing was better that time. Halfway through the workout. Aerobically, you feel fantastic. Frustrated because the hamstring awareness is still there. Um, I think I'm just going to have to live with that on the day. Hope I don't tear it too early. Uh, next half to go. Control, control. 
Six reps down, feeling comfortable, feeling steady. But so hot. Milk was a bad choice. <sighs> Woohoo! That's eight sets done. Last workout of the training block. A couple of laps to cool down now. Uh, hit all those uh, just below race pace. It's done. What do I do now? Just take it easy until race day. Look out Sunday. Can't wait. See you guys soon. So that's it done. 5.72 k's in the end. I'm not sure what the splits are yet. I'll put them on screen. Uh, but they felt very comfortable. So now it's just time to take it easy and prepare. I hope this bloody hamstring's okay. Here we are. We can do this. Friday morning, run done. Um, yeah, I was a little bit worried about the legs this morning, but no, they feel good. They feel really good. So yeah, 19 minutes, three and a half k's. Just an easy jog. Final run, done and dusted. 16 minutes, 2.73 k's. 5.57 a k, nice and easy. Nice and small, ready to launch tomorrow. I don't know if it's just me being neurotic and nuts or whether it's an actual thing, but yeah, I just keep feeling all these niggles and, and things and yeah, I'd say it's just nerves but we'll see how we go tomorrow. We'll see how it all feels in the morning. One day to go, rest up today. Lots of foam rolling, lots of just chilling out, not doing much. I will talk to you guys a little bit later about goals and plans for the race. Similar to what worked well for me in the Cairns Half Marathon, I intend to break it down into three equal parts. So 3K, 3K, and then final K. Um, so first 3K, aiming to go out, um, and I've set some pace zones in my watch to try and keep myself between um, the 3.50 and four minute mark. Try not to get too excited. Um, I know in the past, when I've done this race, I've looked down at my watch and I'm sitting there on 3.45s or 3.40s even. So if I go out that hard, that's gonna hurt me. So I need to try and control it in the first three Ks. Um, and then just slowly building from there. That will bring me in well under the 40 minute mark. Um, according to my Koros watch, they're telling me that I should be able to do it in about 39.04 which I would be absolutely ecstatic if I could get that close to 39 minutes. I don't think I will be able to, but yeah, that's my aim. So basically I've got three aims for tomorrow. My main aim, my absolute must, is obviously the sub 40. My secondary aim is sub 39. I'd love to sneak under 39 if I can. And my third aim, I don't know if that's possible, the list of names of who's registered, who's just come out, I've seen a couple of names on there that do scare me a little bit, so I don't think I'll be able to win it tomorrow, but there'll be at least a good group to run with um, at that sub 40 minute pace. So fingers crossed, it all goes well. Uh, only thing I've got left to do is get out my uh, all my gear for tomorrow, and it's really important, according to a serious runner that I was watching on YouTube, that I lay all my gear out flat for tomorrow, um, so that I can take a photo of it, put it on Instagram and tag a bunch of companies in it so that people who follow me on Instagram think I'm sponsored by those companies. So I'm gonna go and do that now and then I'm going to kick back and relax for the rest of the day. Ready for a good night's sleep. Ready for the race tomorrow. See you tomorrow guys. <laughs>